Hello and welcome to Food and Barbecue. We're at the getaway and we didn't have a crock pot here, so we got a new one on sale. So this is our new crock pot. It doesn't really have many fancy functions. It's got low, high and keep warm. No timer, no nothing. But it's going to be fine. Uh, the inner bowl is uh, made of um, porcelain, so that's good. Anyway, I'm going to try it out by making a bit of a lamb venison casserole. Let me show you what I'm going to do that with. Okay, so we have we got some slices of lamb. We thawed them out. We have some piece of back venison. I'm gonna unfold that and see what it is, but it's gonna be good in this. And then we've got three roughly chopped onions, four garlic cloves, four small bell peppers. That's more or less like one large bell pepper, and about twenty cocktail tomatoes. Yeah, and I've got seven strips of bacon cut up into pieces and then I've got this much rice and uh, that's about a cup and or just under a cup and then um, yeah, I'm going to use that as a starch base for this. Anyway, so I'm going to start out by trimming the meat a little bit and browning it. I'm not going to show you that because you know how you trim meat and brown from all my other videos and then I'll bring you back at the crock pot. Okay, so I'm starting off by just putting a small piece of butter in here to kind of grease out the bottom and um, let that be as it is and then uh, into this we're going to put all the veggies in the bottom on the bottom I will not blanch these more than this I'm just going to move them around they are going to tr turn translucent before the me decided I would think I'm hoping so anyway okay so I'm going to bring you back in a bit once this has started to heat up so we're going to season this with uh, two teaspoons of cumin, two teaspoons of onion powder, two teaspoons of garlic powder, two teaspoons of kosher herbal salt, one teaspoon of Coleman's mustard, one teaspoon of ancho chili. And I'm going to mix this together, just stir it together, and then um, I'm going to season the onion and the stuff in the bottom with this first. So, or I'm gonna season it with half of it because the rest I'm gonna put on the meat, which you might hear being fried in the background. Okay, so that's about half. And then we're gonna add the rice to this. So this is one glass of rice. And when making rice in the crock pot, the rule is to add as much water as you add rice, and then if needed, add some more along the way. I will, of course, have to add more stock because I want to have the, uh, the meat bracing in a few minutes. Anyway, I'll bring you back just shortly as soon as the rest is done. The meat is done. I did fry up the bacon and then this is um, venison, uh, uh, I think it's some, like a venison steak. It's from the back anyway. I cut that into large chunks and then I browned the slices of uh, uh, lamb shank because I think that's actually what you're going to call them, lamb shank. Uh, okay, time to put them in the crock pot. Okay, so I'm gonna give this onion rice mix a stir. And then we're gonna start off by adding the bacony. I did put all the rest of the spice on here. I'm gonna add the venison and I'm gonna stir that into the vegetables because that's not gonna need any form of um, um, handling once this is done. The lamb on the other hand it's got some bones in them, so I need to remove that. Some bacon. There's never any problem adding bacon in my family. I think that should be it. Anyway, I'm going to stir this in here. Yeah, we're going to have to add some liquid to this. You will see what I will add. And then, just going to place the lamb on top of here. Pretty amazing, it smells really nice already. And this is gonna be just the right amount, I think. So I'm just gonna press it down there. Add this bacon fatty thingy on top of there. I did use a, a, a drink that we have here that is called Svagrika a few weeks ago. Then we have, before we had Coke, we had something called Must, which is uh, similar to Coke, but it's not. It's got no caffeine and no secret recipe or anything. Uh, anyway, it's kind of Swedish and it's from Easter, so it's on sale now. It costs like 
20 cents. So I'm just gonna put some of this in here. I don't wanna add too much. I'm just gonna add enough to reach up to the meat. Something like so. I'll bring you in close so you can see what I mean. And there we go. So we got some liquid coming up. Yeah, this should be fine. I'm gonna put this on high and let it cook until done. That's gonna be in, what, something five or six hours as soon as the lamb falls apart. We'll see. I'll catch you up on it in, if it goes faster. I'm gonna check in maybe three, four hours. And if it's uh, almost done, I'm gonna turn it down to low. Anyway, it's running on high now and I'll meet you back in a bit, okay? So it's been six and a half hours. After four hours, I turned this down to low and uh, it's more or less done now, I think. So I'm gonna try lifting out the meat and see if I can get rid of the fat that I don't want and also to shred it a bit. And then uh, after I've done that, gotten that out, I'm gonna lift off as much fat as I can from the surface of this because there is quite a lot. Anyway, so I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna show you the result in a minute or two. This smells very, very nice. Okay, I'm gonna plate some up and show you. Okay, there we go. Some lamb and venison um, ragu, stew, whatever. Let's give it a try. Mm. It's really nice. Uh, all the flavors have melted together. Um, nothing really is overpowering, so that's nice. Um, it smells really, really good. Yeah, this is gonna be good. I'm gonna eat this. Thank you for watching. Bye.